It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? Great game in store for y'all. Coming up next. Just outside of the nation's capital in nearby Landover, Maryland, we're getting a look at the enormous Commander's Field. Joined by a former NFL quarterback up in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward. I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can brag if you'd like to because I know you had quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right mm -hmm. over them for big yardage and maybe six points too. Katie York sent to get this one started. And we're off and running from Landover. That's going to be taken in at the eight. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. So here come the Buccaneers, ready for their opening drive. They're led out by the seventh-year pro, comeback player of the year contender last season in Baker Mayfield. I'll raise my hand is one that was reminded once again why Baker Mayfield was the number one pick years ago to Cleveland. He expressed it last year from beginning to end in Tampa. Resurrected his career. Led these Buccaneers to a division title and a playoff win over the Eagles. And by the way, earned a new contract to stay down there in Tampa Bay as a starter. He's always had the moxie. He's always had the fight. Last year, he had the consistency and the attention to detail to take his game to another level. Second down now, seven to go. Evans, the motion man here. They don't get this snapped in time. This is going to back them up. Man in motion wasn't set in time. Just couldn't get a snap away before the play clock expired. All right, here we go. Second down. Throwing from the gun. Completes this one to Otten. And he'll go down, and we'll see right at the 39-yard line. Sure nice to see them looking for their tight ends in the passing game. Such great size to have out there. It really forces defenses to try to find a way to defend them, along with everybody else. Third and a lone yard coming up. They'll try and pick this up on the ground. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. Bucks ready to send it away on fourth as Jake Camarda runs on to punt it. And the sunlight's not a problem for him. He looks up and makes the fair catch. So now the Commanders will get their turn at an opening drive of the game. And leading them out the reigning Heisman Trophy winner, the number two pick in the NFL draft out of LSU, Jaden Daniels. Well, here he comes. Here comes the Heisman Trophy winner from a season ago, and what a show he put on, man. He was a stat stuffer. Over 1,100 yards rushing, but a lot like Lamar Jackson did back in the day in college. Oh, by the way, 40 touchdowns passing, too. You know why this Washington organization took him so high in this draft. They want him to be Lamar Jackson. They want him to be dynamic, and he's going to get his career off and running. Eight yards to go. Let's see how they approach this second down. Throwing from the gun here. Here's one left side. He's got it. Complete pass. It's enough for a first down. Nice find by the rookie quarterback from LSU. The analytics will tell you a handful of these kind of plays per game and your odds per drive of scoring go way up.
And the slated downs to approach here from the 40. Throwing now, Daniels. Can't handle the hot throw there as it winds up incomplete. The tip definitely broke up that throw. And it's going to be second down. Well, Kate, that wasn't a fast enough break for the interception, but it was good enough and a good enough break to break on the ball, get a finger on it, and foresee incompletion. Off the play fake, he's going to throw. Got Sinich, it's complete. And they'll stand him up and sit him down at the line. Well, the defense was ready for that throw, stopping him right in his tracks, right at the line of scrimmage. The Buccaneers at another DB, third down coming up. Daniels back to throw. It's caught, Eckler. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. You can earn your money in the NFL in all sorts of different ways, but defensively, in a league where you're just not hitting as much in training camp, you're not tackling as much as they got to in the old days, when you can make a play in the open field, keep them short like that, I promise you some money will follow. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. And that hit at the five, but got the bounce it needed to reach the end zone for a touchback. So the Buccaneer offense getting out there for their second drive. They didn't start the game off like they wanted, Brock. Still searching for that opening first down as they take the field a second time. They'll run here on first down. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. I know from the position of the quarterback, Kate, sometimes you hand that ball, you put it in the belly of the running back, and you send him right into the teeth of a buzzsaw. You can feel it from the jump, and that call from the defense, well, it came at the perfect time. To throw, Mayfield. Pressure's there, and the commander's got him! And that pushes him back, third down, coming up. Kate, I've seen a, a one-step drop, I've seen a three, a five, a seven. Some of the boots and play actions get more depth, but a 20-step drop? <laughs> That's not going to cut it, except for this defense. It just adds a whole bunch of negative yards to that play. Not a good spot to punt from. They really want to convert here on third. Throwing from near his own goal line. He finds the open man there, complete. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. If they get a handful of these types of plays per game, the pass game coordinator is going to be one happy camper. On again comes Jake Camarda to punt this away. Jamison Crowder back deep for the commanders. Got 44 yards on his first kick, Brock, and this one looks to be longer. And he's just going to fair catch that one at the 24-yard line. So through one, this game, more for you defensive maestros out there. Couple of zeros on the board right now. We'll return to Landover right after this. Time now for the second quarter. Commanders in possession. They got this after forcing a punt at the end of one. Play action on first down. Pressure coming, and they take him down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Flat out a tremendous call. Perfect timing to blitz the corner, and the result proves it. There was barely time for the QB to set himself up to throw, let alone look downfield for a target before he was absolutely decked by somebody who I think enjoyed that chance to rush the passer. Offense to the line for second down. Trying again, following the sack. Stays in the pocket. And he doesn't see a window he likes, so he just got rid of that one. And it brings up third down. 
Everybody wants to play quarterback until a play like that. Almost no resistance off the ball and the defense ready to maul you. It was all he could do to get rid of it before he gets just clocked. Last pass unsuccessful and they have third down here. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's able to get across the 25 before stepping out. You know, I, I like the completion. You never turn down a completion. That's just not the right throw to make in that spot to move the chains. The commander's ready for the punt. Jalen McMillan back to return for the Buccaneers. He broke 50 on his first punt and looks to have done the same here. Fair catch calling for, and he's got it right near the 30-yard line. That punt goes unanswered. No return there. And that is where they'll start the next drive. On first down, they'll run. And he'll get it up to the 44. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. You know, Kate, if you notice those guys that, that love to feed themselves on the field, right? they love to just get more and more. They're hungry for even more. I'll tell you what, that tackle... It prevented something that's going to be a lot bigger, but that back remains hungry. Got a man. Palmer has it. And he takes it up and across midfield to Commander's territory. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable. It creates space to take that shot downfield. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. They'll go left side here with White. Oh, what a step on! And he's going to get it out past the 40 before he goes out. It's a pickup of nine yards. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. Ooh, I like that. I really like that execution to move the chains. Now that third down call that they had ready, well, they could stick it right back in the pocket for a later occasion. Again, this is White. And he ranges forward to the 31 before they bring him down. It's an eight-yard pickup, and they're going to have second and two next. I'm not kidding you, Kate. A run of that length at the NFL level, honestly, is the equivalent of a run of 15-plus at the high school level. It's hard in the run game to make yards, and they just got a very successful one. One of the most common penalties in the sport. And the reaction, it's the same every time, Brock. Frustration from the coach as they get backed up five yards. Tight end in motion left. Here's second and seven. Short pass caught by his tight end. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. The goal of running that drag route is to get it to him for at least a minimal gain with space to add after that. He picked up a good chunk and there was nearly room to add even more. Here we go, third and less than a yard. Now Mayfield, flushed out of the pocket. Decent yardage picked up here before he slides down to avoid the tackle. They'll say he got five there, but Brock, all they care about is the first down that comes with it. I love that play. I mean, that's quarterback 101. Nothing downfield. Get what you can with your legs. But so much more importantly, protect yourself. Availability, one of the most important abilities for any quarterback. We've hit the two-minute warning now from the nation's capital. And it's the Buccaneers. With it, first and ten. Here's Baker. On target to Godwin. And he's brought down. They're going to mark him at the 14. They come through with a nice gain there. Gain of 10, first down. Kate, when Bill Walsh was implementing the drag route with the 49ers in the 80s, it sounded the same way as it did with Mike Holmgren and me with the Seahawks in the 2000s. Versus man on the drag route, run away. You see zone coverage, settle down, give the quarterback his numbers, and you can find a completion just like that. This one's caught. And they will score. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. The Buccaneers get some late points and the lead. It's a Chris Godwin touchdown. 
So he finds his man in space, and then the wideout takes advantage. Nice finish there yeah. to take it in for six. Yeah, no question about it. We know points are always a premium in this league, and this really becomes a three to four point play. Right? When you don't have to settle for field goals, you could throw an underneath and your receivers do that much damage in the open field and score a touchdown. That's big time. On is Chase McLaughlin for the point after. That one right down the middle. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. Kickoff taken at the three. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The commanders all set to regain possession. They're trailing, but there's enough time, Brock, that they could get a scoring drive to attack that here before the break. Back to throw. Here's Daniels. It's incomplete. Should have been a catch downfield, but off his hands and to the ground it goes. I think if you look up in phase in the defensive encyclopedia, that is a picture-perfect form of it. He was all over him in coverage, really forcing the incompletion. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Daniels now. Throw complete to Eckler. And that will not be enough for a first down. The Commanders take a timeout. They're first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Third and just two to go. Now Daniels to throw. Complete beyond the marker. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. Washington calls it second timeout. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. New set of downs for him from the 46. To throw, Daniels. Complete over the middle to the big tight end. And he's able to get this to the 32 before going down. They manage 22 on the rip and a first down. Wow, certainly found the weak spot in the coverage with that catch. Really goes to show they trust every single player, receiver, running back, in that case, tight end, to be a playmaker in this offense. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. They are throwing it again. Couldn't connect right side. It's incomplete. You need to buy your receivers enough time to get open along the route and your quarterback enough time to find and hit them with the throw. When the line doesn't hold up, incompletions follow. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. They'll throw it again. The Buccaneers get there and bring him down. Final timeout taken by the Commanders. And that's all they've got for what little remains of this half. The Buccaneers bringing out a dime. Look, third down coming. Back now, pressure on its way. Complete, it's McLaurin. And they get this down to the 28. Well, there's a time to be a little finessey with the football, put a little touch on it, and then there's time to put your arm into it and let it eat, throw it right through your target's chest. This one, well, that one right there was the ladder. Smart to make a fastball zing in before anyone could undercut the curl route. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. We've reached the break. The Bucks visitors, but fighting out to an early advantage. 
Now we'll send you down the East Coast to Orlando. Turn things over to our buddy Jonathan Coachman in the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, sit tight. We'll get back to you and Brock in just a moment. But for now, this is our Halftime Report. Both these teams making their way out of the tunnel, and we're ready for the second half. And for the call, we send it back to Kate Scott and the other blonde bomber. Brock Hewitt. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break. Kids, we're happy to welcome y'all back for the start of our third quarter. Here's a return from the seven. He's got a lane up past the 30. And a good return here as he gets it out past the 35. Out comes the offense for Washington to begin the third quarter. Commanders starting out in a good spot this drive as they get set, first and 10. Here's Daniels, into traffic, complete! And he's short of the first after a mild game. Well, the odds aren't great when you throw into double coverage. Normally you see one of the defenders make a play on the ball. Two men nearby, and that's a missed opportunity for the coverage to make an impact play. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. Third down, one yard to go. Now he'll throw off the play fake. It's taken in by Sinnott. This is marked down right along that 40-yard line. Big gain, 14 on the play. And that'll be good for a Washington first. I'm not sure how this defense let that guy slip through him like that. On third down, nonetheless, he took that snap as an opportunity. And man, did he make an impact play. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. Running right, it's Eckler. Breaks the tackle, green grass ahead. And he'll be brought down here at the 23-yard line. They get 18 yards out of it and a new set of downs. They had the first down by a comfortable margin right there. Remember that play call. Put that one away. Could be a money play for them the next time they're in a similar spot. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and 10. Daniels back to throw. That's complete. Here's Brown. And he's going to be taken down near the eight-yard line. That one goes for 15, and now they're going to have first and goal. You want to become a quarterback's best friend? Do that. Turn a short little gain, a short little pass, into some yards after catch, and that quarterback will find you again. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Working inside the red zone. Oh, that's a tough one. Couldn't bring in the touchdown clean. It falls incomplete. It's going to be second down. Plays like that are called twofers. It's why coaches live two years for one. All the planning, great play call, careful execution led to that, and it was still dropped to the turf. Touchdown lost. This one's hauled in on the left side. And they bring him down at the seven-yard line. Now, after making that catch, we see he's shaken up. Trainer's heading out to take a look. Buckle up, it's third and goal. Throwing now, Daniels. He's on the move. And he will score, it's a Washington touchdown. The Commanders take the lead right away in half number two. Great play by the QB there, Brock. The play broke down. He didn't have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise. And in the end, 
turned out to be the best call he could have made. It is such a necessary tool in today's NFL for that QB to put right in his tool belt, Kate. You know, in my day, you could be a blacksmith, right? You could you just do the job and stay in the pocket. Not anymore. You got to be an artist. And you got to be an artist that could create when things break down. And that's big time to get a touchdown out of it as well. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. On now is York to kick this one away. Here's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Buccaneers, then receiver Chris Godwin getting set for another go. They find themselves trailing after the opening drive touchdown. And heck, it really set up to be an entertaining second half if they're able to answer here. Now here's Mayfield. Finds his man. It's Godwin. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. To throw, Mayfield. That one's complete over the middle. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket and get even more aggressive and take that shot. Godwin, the man in motion left. From the 46. Got Evans, it's complete. And he'll have it down to the 44-yard line. That's a pickup of nine. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. On the 44-yard line now, first and ten. Motioning him from the slot right. And the play clock hits zero. This is going to be delay a game. Man in motion wasn't set in time. Just couldn't get a snap away before the play clock expired. They'll have to come up with five extra yards now after that first down flat. Running it after the penalty. And they beat him to the edge. That run stopped back at the line. They don't get anything on first. And now they face second and 15. So close to a big loss of yards for those guys up front. One second sooner, and they got a tackle behind the line. But a stop to celebrate nonetheless. Second and 15. And that's incomplete, but he might have done a little too much to cause that. Flag comes out, and this could be interference. He got too aggressive to try and stop that play, and they tag him for pass interference. They'll run here, following the penalty. And he's going to fight his way forward for a modest pick up to the 43. Just a gain of one, and that brings up second and nine. Just one quarter remaining in this one. It's Buccaneer football. They trail, but it's still within reach for them. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Here's Baker to throw. This ball's cut by Palmer. And they get this down to the 28. That's 16 on the pickup. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. And those are the completions they rely on. 
from their passing game. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. They send a tight end in motion. Throwing Baker. Short pass caught by his tight end. And they have this well into the red zone now at the 15. They get 13 on the pickup. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. Good offenses. Okay, good play callers know how to utilize their personnel. They know where they wanted him. They wanted him in a route in space where he could make that initial play comfortably, but then go to work after. From the red zone now. It's caught. And they'll advance this down to the five-yard line. It's a double-digit gain, 10 yards, and now they've got first and goal. He'll throw it yet again. That one's incomplete in the end zone. You know, quarterback's going to count on 99 of 100 times completing that short, simple route to a tight end. But even the shortest and simplest of throws will find a drop at some point, too. So the incompletion on first. Here's second and goal. Throwing it again here. Quick slip complete. And he's brought down real close to that goal line at the one. You know, I often say there is a fine line between aggressiveness and carelessness. And when you throw in a double coverage, well, it can go either way. That time, a tremendous catch by his receiver on the other end. Shotgun now on third down. Chased out to it. And he carries it in for the touchdown. The Buccaneers take a fourth quarter lead. Baker Mayfield, the touchdown. A lot of pressure on him in that moment, Brock. Find a way to score. Don't let it go to fourth and goal. And he finds a way to come through and gets in the end zone for six. How about the other side? Beating the defense right there as well. That group who was so close to pulling off the goal line stand, yet all that motivation wasn't enough to stop him on third and goal. Now a try to go up by four. Put it out of the range of a field goal. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. Here's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Washington ready to go on offense as they take the field. They find themselves down here in the fourth after that touchdown. This game could end up depending on how they respond right here. They go play action on first. Got a man. Coverage lost him. Complete. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. It takes a certain level of fearlessness, craziness, to work over the middle of the field in this league. You're fighting through guys as you go, and all the while, you know you could take a lick at any time. A jolt to start that drive. They're up near the 45-yard line. Motioning one of the tight ends. Out of the gun. They'll give it to him inside. And he's going to get him up to the midfield strike with that run. A nice six-yard pickup. They're going to have second and four. A humble five to six yard gain on the ground. Not a huge gain, not a game changing play by any means, but one that keeps you on schedule and takes some of the starch out of that front seven. Second and four. On him quick, and they bring him down. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. This is one of those situations where QB's strength and ability to run can be a great blessing but can also be a curse. 
We've seen him use his feet before. This guy can escape, and that's a blessing. But it can be a curse because sometimes you think you can get out of everything. And this defense just proved he couldn't. We've hit the two-minute warning here in D.C. Commanders needing four points. And for the Buccaneers, it's a nickel look. Third down coming. He'll throw it. A bit of desperation on this deep shot. It's tipped away and it's going to hit the ground incomplete. Defender winning that rep. That brings up fourth down. You know, as a QB, I'm going to note that in the back of my head. That was a heck of a break. Knocks the ball away. DBs like that, they tend to, once they get one hand on the ball, have a pretty good beat on you and can get two hands on it the next time. Desperation time on fourth down. They connect for the first. And they take him down right along the 30. The commanders take a timeout. Their first. And they can take a moment to try to build more momentum after getting the first. First and ten after that last highlights. They're at the 30. Here he is to throw. He's got it. Room to run. And he'll get it down to the 24-yard line. Well, this is the type of game we've come to expect from him as a runner, toting the ball, but he's just as adept at turning the screen into the same kind of yardage, too. Hurry up offense now as time runs down. Looking to throw it. Escapes the pocket. And they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. Timeout taken by the offense, their second. And they'll take a moment to ponder what the call's gonna be on third down. Throwing now. Oh, he lost the football! And they jump on top of it. Oh, a clutch recovery to clean up the mistake this late in the game. Well, you don't like to see the fumble, but hey, at least they were able to be the ones to recover it, and they keep possession. Yeah, and I think the key there was to stay calm through the chaos. Cooler heads prevailed and got him the ball back. Here he goes. Got to have this on fourth down. Try and push it deep downfield. I know exactly what the quarterback was envisioning when he let that one go. Touchdown, baby. Not long after, I know exactly what he was thinking. Oh, no! Give me that one back. Because the coverage baited him perfectly into that throw. And even more so, picked it off. Tampa Bay are ready to head out to the field. And this one, just a formality till the clock runs out. It's only one timeout remaining to stop it. And this should just about do it. One final kneel down to run out the final seconds. Second down, probably going to see him kneel it again here. A final kneel down, and that should run out the clock. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot, and now you can enjoy the victory. Well, Brock, I think we're both thinking another kneel likely coming here on third down. So 
So it's a win for the visiting Buccaneers. Well, Brock, we knew they were confident in the lead-up, that they could contend despite the hostile crowd they were going to face today. And boy, did they ever. Once they got going, they showed out. They backed up that confidence, and they leave here with a victory. Oh, it takes so much work, Kate. So much work, even beyond what people hear about through the week or see in the game itself, to overcome somebody defending their home field. You need to be playing at your highest level, and you need to BYOE, bring your own energy. Whenever you <laughs> take that. it on the road and you win one, gosh, it feels so good. What a signature victory.